असलम एंड वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नोलॉजी एक्सप्लोर माई नेम इज़ उस्मान एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन इम्पोर्ट दी कोरल ड्रा फाइल इन टू दी सोलिड वर्क एंड दैन यू कैन मेक द डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक दिस सो कीप वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल एंड एंड देर आर सम अदर प्रोडक्ट्स विच आई हैव मेड रिसेंटली बाई यूजिंग माई सी एन सी प्लाज्मा कटिंग मशीन and if you want to download all the dxf files or solid wax files for all those products then i will leave the download link in the description of this video okay first of all i have made um, uh, this thing on the coral draw and now you can export and for that go to file and uh, from here select export option export uh, type is dxf and uh, here is the name of the file and uh, i think uh, it should be shelf vertical and then save it or export it be careful uh, while um, exporting the units uh, is in uh, it should be in millimeters and then press okay button and uh, here is the file uh, shelf vertical we are searching we are looking for drag it into the solid box so first of all you have to uh, select this option import to a new part as 2d sketch make sure to uncheck this box import as reference if you check this option then you are, you will not be able to edit the file so Uh, select 2d sketch and then select next first of all here you have to uh, you have to switch from inches to millimeters and then uh, instead of all layers select selected layers uncheck the layer 0 and then hit next so um, here is the preview of our file then select finish click on the part option and then press okay button so here is the file uh, we have imported it into the solid box now uh, first of all in solid box we have to go to sheet metal and from here we have to select base flange tab as the thickness of uh, the sheet is uh, 1.6 mm so type here 1.6 and then hit okay button so if you can see here these holes so uh, first of all sketch on this face press control plus 8 key for normal to view orientation and then draw a line start it from here up to uh, here press escape button now use smart dimensions to define the distance from this line from this edge Mm, it should be 27 mm and now again go to sheet metal tab and from here select sketched band and uh, um in the band parameters click on this box for uh, fixed face click on it and then click on this face so here is the preview then press okay button now uh, one side of the shelf is ready so save it and uh, type the name of this part shelf vertical now what we have to do we have to start another uh, part by using assembly feature so click on assembly and then press okay button now uh, click on this insert component button here and then select shelf vertical and drop it like this now uh, simply right click on this part and from here select float press and hold control key from your keyboard and uh, select top plane of the assembly and uh, then select top plane of the shelf and make the coincident relation between them now uh, drag this part like this now uh, select front plane and this face and make the distance made between them type here 15 in 
4 inch now um, again once again press and hold control key and select right plane of the assembly and right plane of the uh, part and make the coincident made between them now you can see um, our assembly is fully defined so what we have to do next we have to make the mirror of this part so for that click on this arrow below the linear component pattern and from here select mirror components first of all it will ask you to select the mirror plane so drop down the uh, this feature tree and from here select front plane as mirror plane then it will ask you to select the component select this component and from here hit next here is the preview uh, that we have generated scroll down select this option create opposite hand version and then hit next select this option create new files and then press ok button press ok button again and then select yes next step is that we have to make uh, the racks here so for that click on this arrow below the insert component button and from here select new part press ok button there is a tick mark next to the uh, mouse cursor which means that the solid box is asking us to select the plane or face to start a new part from so uh, we are going to start the new part from this face automatically our uh, solid box is now in sketch mode press ctrl plus 8 key for normal to view orientation and uh, simply draw a corner rectangle start it from here like this select this line and make coincident relation like this now uh, go to sheet metal tab again and from here select base flange tab sheet thickness is 1.6 mm direction is ok if uh, you see the direction in this side then you, you can uh, uncheck this box for reverse direction so now uh, press ok button and uh, uh, once again from sheet metal tab select edge flange select this edge and specify the direction Sim similarly select this edge and this edge now uh, define the length of the uh, flange 25 millimeters then press ok button press this button to save and exit from the as a part editing mode now we have to uh, make the copies of uh, this rack here so for that press and hold control key and then click and drag the this part to make its duplicate now make the some relations between them like this this is the coincident relation again this is uh, this would be the coincident once again now uh, drag it uh, upside like this so um, add the distance between this face and this face and it should be uh, 400 millimeters once again press and hold control key and uh, make the duplicate of this rack now select this face this face make the coincident relation select this face and this face make the coincident relation and this time select this face and this face make the coincident relation okay one more copy uh, between both these racks similarly uh, make the relations of coincident just like before coincident relation now uh, i will make the width mate so for that select this face this face this face and this face make the width mate 
so for multiple selections press and hold control key so this is how um, i have made this uh, these racks or these shelves in solid box i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video thanks for watching and sparing time don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos like this